You know, my mom used to make the best clam chowder. I'm sure. So, construction has to start. She made it with white wine and shallots. The woman was Rembrandt in the kitchen. My constituents are very unhappy with the lack of movement on this issue. Slow down. We have all evening to talk about business. Besides, I haven't even looked at the wine list yet. I don't think we have time for a wine list. You have to understand. In my line of work, one needs to get a feel for people before he goes into business with them. Make sure they're legit. I know. I know, but thousands of people drive through that area every day. The Capitol is on one side, and the hospital is on the other. Tell me, Fred, why do you care so much? I made a promise to the people who voted for me. Did you now? A politician making promises to get elected. What was it? Lower taxes? More funding for schools? A bridge. I promised them I would complete I-42. That boondoggle? You got some brass on you, kid. I went door to door, talked to everyone along the route. There's only one holdout. That's why I need your help. Marion Holly lives in a small farm that grows some obscure vegetable that no one seems to know about. All her neighbors have moved away, but she won't budge. This is important, and I need you to listen to me. Okay. How do you want this to go down? Quietly and discreetly? You misunderstand me. So you want a Chardonnay or Marlowe? I can't decide. Both of them are fine vintages. What about my problem? We'll get to that. You need some old lady taken care of, and you don't need the details. At this point, it's like number three at the McDonald's for me. I need you to solve a problem for the people of this city. Not order a Big Mac or whatever. And we'll get there. It's your first time. Everyone's like this. Mark, good to see you. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Hello, good sir. I was just discussing some hypothetical fictional fantasy stuff with this guy I barely know. So who is this guy? It's his first time as a client. He still has the jitters. Thinks everybody's wearing a wire? Afraid of his own shadow? He wanted to use code words and meet in a dark alley. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, did he call you Heisenberg too? So you're here on business? This is personal. I had a heart to heart with the owner about the number of Romanesco dishes being served in this establishment. That's a pretty obscure crop. Why the interest? My Aunt Marion owns this farm. And when I was a kid, she took me in when both my parents died in a fire. I love her more than life itself. The owner here used to order 200 bushels a month from her. Last month he ordered 198. So I'm here to renegotiate the agreement on her behalf. Does she know what you're doing? She knows how to work the farm. Marketing? Well, it's my department. Romanesco based farm can't be all that profitable. Listen, I'll see to it that Marion runs that farm for as long as she wants to. Well, it looks like my work here is done. No, wait, what about my problem? Exactly, what problem was that? Well, we can't decide what would go better with a Romanesco salad, a Chardonnay or a Merlot. Any suggestions? 